Hello my beans and nuggets, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your girl Jasmine, back at it again with yet another video. Um, I tried adding a little LED light action. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I don't have like a fancier setup, but it is what it is. It's about the content, you know? It's the content that matters, not everything else. But for today's video, I really wanted to post my 2023 like best of beauty, kind of like my Spotify wrapped but beauty edition. I have tried to film this like six times, so God help us. Let's hope that this is the one that finally works out. I tried to film this yesterday. The lighting was whack and just, oh, it was a mess. It was a mess, okay? So with that being said, oh, I do wanna make a couple notes before we go into the video. These were not necessarily items that came out in 2023. These were just like my most used holy grail top items. Um, and also some of them did come out this year, but like earlier in the year, I tried not to pick items that just, that I just tried like a month ago. Cause I feel like that's not really fair. Um, another note is that I really tried to let myself only have like three items max per category. I tried to keep it at one, but I gave myself three. I didn't want this to be too overwhelming. So if this is something that you're interested in, then let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and start with primer. The one that I noticed I just could not stop using was this one. This is from Embryolisse. This is the Le Creme Concentrate. I probably totally butchered that. Um, this is such a beautiful product. You could use this as a moisturizer, a mask, you could use it as a primer, and then also says you could use it to remove makeup, but honestly, this is far too expensive with way too many good ingredients to be just like wiping away your makeup off like that. Like, what a waste, you know? Just use some micellar water or something. I don't know. But this is such a beautiful product. I feel like every time I use this, the makeup never Eva looks bad. Neva. Um, and I feel like it lasts pretty well throughout the day as well. So that's why I love it so much. I use this, I like, I first started using this a couple years ago and I can't stop. This is probably my third or fourth one. And this is actually not used yet because this is my backup one, but love her so much. Let's move on to base makeup now. Now this one was kind of like a no-brainer for me. This one did come out in like April or May, I believe of 2023. But once it came out, y'all, this is like a religiously used product in my collection. This is from Meet Alley Oop. This is the Sensational Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Tinted Mineral Sunscreen with Niacinamide. Oh my god, that was a mouthful, especially with someone who has dyslexia. This is water and sweat resistant also for up to 40 minutes, and you get, I think, a decent amount of product in here. I mean, it's one fluid ounce, so I, that's pretty typical. I love the packaging. It's very travel friendly. You could throw it in your purse for touch-ups. I love it so much. And on the back, it also says it's reef safe, um, vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and travel friendly. Oh my goodness. And also says zinc oxide at 12%. So yeah, I love this so much. I think I have like three or four backups of each shade that I use. So I use Beam and Glisten. And also I do have a coupon code with them or I'll just like have the link in the caption. So that way it's just easier. You could just click it in the caption, in the description, I mean. Um, and you could just click on the link. You don't even have to enter my code, but if you do want a little discount, I will include that there. But this has beautiful coverage. I will say for me, cause I have combo leaning oily skin, I definitely have to set this. I do not know how you girlies do it where you just like walk out of the house with without setting your face. Like must be nice because <laughs> that could never be me. But um, I love this product so, 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 so much. Highly recommend if you have not tried it already. I used to not be like a tinted moisturizer girly until I tried that and I was like, Okay, I popped on the train, I popped on. Let's keep it going. For concealer, I did try out the NARS soft matte one, I think it's called. I love that one, but I feel like it was unfair to include that in here because I literally just tried that like a few weeks ago. <laughs> so, you know, but the one that I did use consistently throughout the year was this one from Rem Beauty. I think this is called the Sweetener Concealer. Oh my God, this is so good. And if you're wondering why mine looks barely used, first of all, I have two different shades. Secondly, you barely need any product whenever you're using this. There is a really good coverage. This kind of has like a nice like satin matte kind of finish, but mm, it's it's not too satiny, but it's not too matte. So it really is kind of just a perfect blend of like a satin matte. Um, yeah, this is gorgeous, gorgeous. Honestly, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this. This is a gorgeous concealer and they have so many shades. I think they even have just like a straight up black shade and then a straight up white shade. I actually have the white one because sometimes I have concealers that are just a little bit too dark for me and I'll mix it with the white and it's just so good. But yeah, this is kind of like an underrated product. I wish more people talked about it, but 
that's that let's move on to i guess since we're talking about cream products let's move on to cream blushes and cream contours when it came to cream contouring honestly milk makeup really took the win i i just I don't know the colors they're so good this is not the contour shade this one is stoked but there's another one that i have in my drawer i don't want to like disrupt my video and take it out but these in general so good for contouring especially that one shade i was talking about i can't remember what it's called for the life of me but i use this consistently and i'm sad that it's so small i miss their like jumbo sizes but also those jumbo sizes are kind of like really like unrealistic like who was gonna finish a whole entire thing of that i think they say that you can get like was it like a thousand swipes on this no way that they said a million there's no way that they said that so i think they said a thousand swipes you can get from this i believe i believe i don't know who was doing the testing that seems kind of maybe like a fun yet maybe kind of boring job but love the formula of that i also know that every time i use this my makeup will never look bad like this is a safe product for me i know like okay if i put this on it's not gonna be patchy it's gonna blend well it's not gonna pick up makeup underneath it's gonna be a good day you know for cream bronzer and also some i think there are some contour shades in this but the rare beauty bronzer stick y'all this one there's some products you know i ha i play with so many makeup products so whenever i find myself consistently using a product sometimes it kind of surprises me because i'm like wow out of all the products that you have and could use this is the one that you consistently keep going back to and that is this one so yeah love that one for cream blush i am a blush girly through and through this was such a hard choice to make but i was able to limit it down to one product and that is the nude sticks cream blush there's no particular color that's the other thing about this this video is it's not necessarily like particular shades it's the formulas that i'm like obsessed with that i can't stop using if i showed you my nude sticks collection i think that your jaw might drop <laughs> i think i have almost every color with every formula they do have different formulas for example this one is the nudies matte but they do have other ones that are like not sheer but like the not matte ones Ugh, i always have a brain fart i can never remember what it's called but you know what i'm talking about the ones that are not matte <laughs> um but yeah this formula wow wow i just could not stop using it i think there's crack in here honestly because <laughs> why can i not stop using it let's go ahead and move on to a powder next now this first one i feel like should come as no shock to anybody i talk about this all the time on my tiktok this is the derma blend loose setting powder this one is the translucent one i also have the cool beige one i love them so much i am stocked for life because if i run out of this god help us it's gonna be a sad makeup day um i love this so much this would be perfect for a film and television as well it gives you a nice matte finish but not overly matte where you're just like oh my god what happened to my face the life is sucked out of it you know it's matte enough that it takes away the shine but not too matte which i really like i also love using this on days where if i'm using like a tinted moisturizer or a foundation that i find i just want a little bit more coverage from um i will use this on top of the foundation or tinted moisturizer and then go on top of that with a powdered foundation because i find that if i go in just straight with the powder foundation sometimes it'll look patchy not with this not with this never 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 this never does me wrong so i love it so much the next uh, I was gonna say the next foundation I meant to say the next powder is a powdered foundation so that's probably why I was thinking that this is from Yensa this is the super serum silk powder foundation this is impressive okay you see that that's pan forming we're getting there we're getting there this uh oh, holy grail holy grail I love this so much there's like enough coverage that it covers what you need but it's not too heavy where you're like uh, I can't like move my face or it's just it's too much it's too cakey no not with this that's why I love it so much I also really love the Kosas cloud set powder I have the shade breezy this is probably like my third or fourth one I gotta be honest with you this is a fresh one so that's why it looks barely used but my god this powder is amazing and I've used it for a while now at least a couple years at least so yeah let's go ahead and move on to the bronzer category next now i have two bronzers i wanted to share the first one is the benefit hula like i'm not gonna lie 
I'm, I use this all the time. That's why I'm including it in this video. I have like so many benefit palettes that are open too that all have like Hoola bronzer in them and I just like rotate out all the palettes and I'm constantly using <laughs> Hoola bronzer. Uh, yeah, this is a classic and I feel like we'll always be in one of these videos because I use this so much. I'm actually shocked at how much I use it. So yeah, um, hourglass. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Any hourglass powder, I'm telling you right now, beautiful, beautiful on the skin. Okay. I'm also going to be including an hourglass blush in this video, but any hourglass powder that you can find, the ambient lighting power, pow power, power, ambient lighting powders, the blushes, the bronzers, the highlighters, everything, everything hourglass. I'm telling you, every time I've worn hourglass, people are always like, oh my God, what makeup are you wearing? Your skin looks beautiful. Like what, what, what's on your face? Hourglass. It's hourglass. You will look like a freaking ethereal angel if you wear hourglass. Just trust me. Trust me when I say it. There's like enough glowiness that people are just like, oh my God, you're beautiful. But it's like not too glowy that it looks like you just like smeared highlighter all over your face in different shades you know that's why i love hourglass so much now, now let's talk about blush i have two blushes <laughs> surprise surprise one of them is an hourglass one and again it's not any particular shade it's just the formulas that really blew me away i just could not stop using them this year especially in the little palettes that they have <sighs> There's something in there that's addicting. It's addicting. I don't know what it is, but I can't stop using them. The next one, the RMS Beauty, what is this called? The Redimension Hydra Powder Blush. Good God. These blushes, wow. Wow, wow, we was very nice. These are stunning. These, I feel like, have a little bit more glow to them than the Hourglass ones, um, and they're a little bit more like heavily pigmented. These ones, I feel like you could get away with not wearing highlighter if you wore this, but I love highlighter. I'm addicted to it, so I'm going to wear it anyways. But these blushes, wow. They're also refillable, so that's really cool. But these, these left me shook. Like, they left me speechless because they are just gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. If you've not tried one of these, do yourself a favor. Try one of them. They are absolutely beautiful they have really pretty shades that suit pretty much most skin tones so i really love that let's move on to highlighter next i have two highlighters see we're doing so good at least you know like i tried to do this on tiktok and i was like here's 15 of my favorite blushes some people don't even have 15 blushes in their collection so that was just like so unrealistic <laughs> so now i feel like i'm doing so much better but anyways the first highlighter is the ofra highlighters these are oh my god so blinding very very blinding be careful when you use these definitely use a lighter hand because they're super pigmented but i've been using over highlighters for a few years now and i love them so much god probably since like i don't think high school maybe maybe late high school or definitely college definitely college i think rodeo drive was my first Ofra highlighter. I'm trying to remember now. God, that's been so long. Anyways, the next highlighter I really, really fell in love with was the ones from Melt. These are the digital dust highlighters. The formula on these, oh my god. These give you that like really nice wet dewy looking skin kind of glow. Like, oh my god. So beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. I think I have maybe like three or four shades of this. So gorgeous so beautiful i love them i'm obsessed with them okay now let's move on to eyes um oh actually let's do brows let's do brows first because i feel like i would do my brows and then i would do my eyes i have two brow gels we have the one from rare beauty this one i also believe came out in 2023 but my goodness if you like the soap brow trend but you don't like how like intense it is because once you lay down those brows with soap brow they're laid. They're not moving. So I love Pears Soap. I use that all the time. I might as well include the, that in here because I use that literally like every day. Um, but that's because a lot of times I just don't want my brows to move. And I've kind of like perfected the method that I want. So usually like when I lay them down, I'm good. But there's some people out there that like might not like that. So this gives you enough hold that your brows won't really like move. 
but also it's flexible enough that if you mess up you you can fix it you know so that's why i love that one the kosas airbrow i love the clear one i also love the colored ones these are so good i probably have like five of them um and then again the brow pencils are from the same brands so the rare beauty one it's this this pencil not the other one the older one that they have it's the new one that's like the super skinny let me show you if i can let's see it's this one. Yeah, you see how it's like that really skinny pencil? This one, I love it so much. I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but I didn't really have a say in the color because they actually sent this to me. And I was like, oh no, soft black. I think that's gonna be too dark. Nope, lo and behold, it actually worked perfectly. So I was like, oh, thank God. The second brow pencil is from Kosas. This is the uh, Brow Pop, yeah. Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. This one, kind of has a similar tip as the rare beauty one i also really love that um brow pop nano pencil but i lost mine it's like the super super skinny one god i love that pencil so much um it's it's in one of my purses i can't find it but it's okay because it was already at the like end of its life anyways but those were my favorite brow products let's go ahead now and move on to eye products the palette that i really loved I was gonna say this year, last year, the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 3 palette. This is the one that is all matte and it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, look at it. Who wouldn't love this? And there's the two cream shades over here as well. God, this was just such a well thought out and well executed palette. It's beautiful. I love it. I feel like that's a really good one for beginners and pros, which is why I think it's amazing. Um, the next product is Urban Decay. This is the Moon Dust Shadow in the shade Space Cowboy. I mean, <laughs> who didn't love this? You know, I feel like this is just such a classic. It's beautiful. It can amp up any look, any color look that you're wearing. You could just put this on top. Next level, elevated. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, the next product I really loved was from Colfi. These are the Zari Eyes eyeshadow. These are kind of like a putty shadow. This shade in particular, Chamak Chalo, y'all. I worked with them on a couple of campaigns, but this shade, every time I wear this, everybody is like, what is that on your eyes? This is a really cool shade too, because it's like one of those that looks different on everybody. On me, this looks pretty true to color like in pan, but on some people it looks green and then on other people it just looks yellow. Like it's wild, it's wild. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous formula, gorgeous color. I love it so much. As far as mascara goes, there was one that really just topped off the rest of them that I just could not stop using. And I was really shocked because normally I'm not really a high-end mascara girly, but this YSL Lash Clash mascara, oh my god. I use this almost every day, almost every day. I probably have maybe six tubes. I don't know. I don't know. That sounds excessive six tubes i don't know um and then lastly for eyeliner i thought the mascara was the last eye product but i also forgot this kofi liner this is come on focus there we go this is the underline kajal eyeliner in the shade jamun glaze this shade this one is a favorite like the shade not just the formula this color is so gorgeous it's like a bronzy brownish shade and i love it so much okay lastly let's move on to lips <sighs> for lip liner i'm sorry but this makeup forever artist color pencil i could not get enough of these are gorgeous it's like come on focus there <sighs> man anywhere caffeine wherever walnut the fact that i even have those shades memorized should tell you something they're just amazing i don't know what it is about them they're really good um, this NYX Butter Gloss, specifically in the shade Praline. You know, I'm gonna put some of this on right now. It's so pretty. I won't put too much on. But look at that. Less than $5, I'm pretty sure. So good, and it smells delicious too. Now this next item did come out in 2023, but I used it literally so much to the point that I was like, put it down. 
that's okay. You have other lip products that you need to use, not just this one. This is from Milk Makeup. This is the Odyssey Lip Oil Gloss. This one is in the shade Quest. This color was a favorite. I actually only own two of these and the other one I recently accumulated maybe like a few weeks ago. So this one was the one that I tried out like months ago that I'm, oh my god, it's so good. I like the formula, everything about it, the color. It doesn't, um, there's like a slight vanilla smell but nothing too crazy oh god i have to like put her away for a while because i use her way too much way too much um these tarte maracuja juicy lip plumps or the other ones that are just like the regular juicy lips i never shut up about these ever 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 i think i have I don't even know how many of these i have so many of these i have at least two of them i feel like in every purse so yeah that should tell you something and then lastly for the grand finale the summer fridays lip butter balm oh my god this one is in pink sugar if i could eat this i would this is so good it smells delicious i have every single summer fridays lip butter balm shade and i'm obsessed with all of them so yep that's why we're putting her in here but that is everything that i loved during 2023 well like not everything, but like my holy grail top reached for items that I just absolutely could not stop using. I would love to know your 2023 beauty favorites in the comments. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy this one and also happy new year.